Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, in the last video we made the faux lapis and I had quite a chunk left over. So what I've done is I've just sliced it up and rolled it into a veneer. It's on a zero on my past machine. So that's the kind of scraps of that. And I took my base blue, added a bit of translucent and a bit of black just for a tonal blue. So that's the last of that blue. And I've also done some translucent, just Cernit translucent here. What I thought I'd do with the scraps is um, make them a kumegane. Um, um, you know, just a bit of a scrap buster really. So if you've got, you know, ends of canes or ends of blocks and you didn't know what to do with them, um, you know, use a bit of your base colour and a bit of translucent. I'm also going to use a little bit of extra foil in there. Got some foil there. And I just thought we'd make a nice block up. Um, nothing too fancy, just a bit of scrap busting really. So, uh, I'll get my little square. I'm just going to use my 175 inch square and cut some squares out of this. And again, I'm not going to make a massive block, guys. If there's any bits left over, I may um, just uh, make some beads or something with the scraps that are left over. But I'll just cut a few squares out um, and some translucent. Uh, let me just move these, then I've got a bit of space. I may not use all of this. Um, let's pop these bits to one side just so I can make the most of my translucent and uh, it's all been conditioned so I shouldn't have any air trapped and I'll just cut a couple of squares out and then hopefully I can make four squares up with this translucent one two three and this one might have to be a bit of a botchy one but I'm sure it'll be fine just put those pieces together like that we don't have to be too picky about it guys especially not with uh, a makume just put them scraps to one side. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use a bit of this blue as my base. Uh, in fact, no, I won't because I wanted to keep a bit to lay a veneer on. Um, let's just do it as it is. So I'll put a bit of blue on the bottom. Shall I, shan't I? Then I'll put a bit of that just smoothing it on then I've not trapped any air then we'll put a bit of uh, translucent I want to trap some foil in the translucent so um, that'll do again it doesn't have to be perfect guys uh, and I want to trap that in the translucent so I'll just pop that on top and I'll do another blue let's just stretch this out a bit then another colour get that bit of foil up and let's put this scrappy bit next translucent and cover it with some foil Excess off. Get them bits out of the way because they get everywhere. I'll just pat that in. That will be fine. Translucent over the top. 
and I'll finish with that. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll finish with that and then put blue on the top because that'll push the blue through then, won't it? So we've got a nice block here. Let's just give it a roll. Get that foil off my roller. And of course, I like to flip it just to make sure that it's catching up with the bottom. Then I've just got one of uh, Happy Hands uh, Makume Garnet, Makume Garnet presses. Um, that should be okay. So I'm just going to press this in. Get it as far down as I can. Oh, and wiggle it back out. And then get this pressed back together. Give it a little roll to help. I've put my square pairs somewhere, but I don't know where they are. I'm just going to turn it over and give it a roll and a squish. That should help it come together a bit better. There we go. Got a nice block now. but it'll sort itself out right I'll pop that to one side to rest while it's resting um, I'm just going to go and uh, make myself a bit of a backing for my pieces um, I might you I'll use this for one backing and I'll use this for another then I haven't got any uh, bits of scrap left over I'll go and prep these while the blocks rest in and I'll see you in a sec. Okay guys, I've just got some of my scraps up here for backings and a bit of that blue. I mixed a bit of translucent in with the blue to make it go a bit further. And as always, I'm just gonna, uh, I think what I'll do is, I'll cut a chunk off um, for my um, first pendant and then I'll do some slithers for um, my uh, other pen, other bit. So I'll just, um, I'm just going to cut it at a slight angle. There we go. So that's that face. Uh, and I'm going to roll this out with my little. three mil um whatever they're called lolly sticks uh, now i'm going to use this cutter so i need it uh, a little bit wider first so i'll just roll it a little bit wider and then i'll roll it out to th oh three mil a bit of foil there splitting and I can see a bit of a bubble let's get that popped where's my pin and of course as usual I will give it a good burnish before I do anything else I'll just pop them to one side and grab a bit of paper and I'll just burnish it just to make sure that that surface is really smooth especially where the foil is and the such um, it just helps burnish everything down nice and bonny there we go and what I want to do with this, you know I like um, little holes, especially when I'm 
overlaying it um, with something. So if I put my cutter, say, across there, I'm going to put three holes down this side. Put a little mark in to guide me. I'm just going to pop three holes down here because I just like it kind of looks organic when you do it um, let's get this picked up and try and leave that set leave the holes be, uh, dots behind and I'll bring in this base and pop that on a bit of cat fluff and I'll just give this a little burnish down, make sure there's no air trapped. There we go. And then I can cut my shape out wherever I've put my doodah. Sure that's through properly I just like to give it a little wiggle then I know it's not stuck get them bits out of the way let's get this up without distorting it not too many crumbs on it but I sort them out when I've got it on here And then I just place it onto my little egg poacher mould and just pat it down so that I know it's taking the shape. And then I just go around this edge with my nail and just smooth out any little crumbs. Of course you can get them when we're done guys, as we've done before, but I just find it just makes a bit of a difference if you're careful before it goes in the oven. So there we've got that lovely pendant shape. Uh, and I will put a, I'll probably do a, a rolled back on that. So that's that one. We'll pop that to one side for a second. And then for this one, thought I'd cut some slithers. Now you know I'm not good at this at all guys so I'm just going to press that down onto my desk. Get my sharper blade and cut myself some slithers. I'll just pop them to one side. Some of these are quite thick. one. Let's try going from this end. I just want to try and get a wispy. Oh, I think my blade's a bit grubby. Let's try that again. No, doesn't want to go through. Oh, that's a good one. just want to get a couple of wispy edges for where I lay it over this. Um, let's pop that there. And I'm going to pop this thinner one down here, there. Makes an interesting kind of shape then, doesn't it? Okay, let's get my four and a half mil doodars. Sarah sent me some new ones because I'd broke one. Bless her. Get this rolled. Okay, that's as thin as that's going to go. Let's take it down to three. That's as thin as that's going to go. I don't want to take it any thinner or it won't be strong. 
structurally sound so let's just give it a burnish down And I am putting a bit of pressure on guys because I just want to get that surface as flat as possible. I may end up layering this up. Oh, it's not too bad. As I've said, I don't want to take it too thin or it loses its appeal, doesn't it? Okay, shall I do a circle? I think I will, if I can find my big circle cutter that is. Oh, it's not my big one, is it? But it'll do, I have got one a, a bit bigger than this, but it seems to be hiding somewhere in my drawer don't know where it is pesky thing I'm just cleaning me uh, cutter guys it's got a bit of glitter on or something okay let's cut this out about there I think and I know I've got loads of bits left over guys but um, they'll, come, I'll, they'll be used for things so don't worry let's get another little dormer out get this picked up trying not to distort it of course easier said than done with some bits though I think I did distort that a little bit but I will do my little trick with my cutter in a second just smooth that down and then what I do is I put my cutter over it again and just wobble it around like this and it gets that circle shape back. So we just make sure that's nice and flat. Again, just pop round that with my nail to make sure there's no crumbs. And there we go, two little pendants. I may do a bit of something with the scraps guys, not sure yet but I will pop these in the oven. Um, I will put a bale on the back. Um, I haven't shown it you for a while, I've asked, so I'll just do it with these uh, bits of scrap. Um, I need one that colour and one that colour. Let's see if we can get this off. There we go. Okay, I'll, do it. I'll just show you with one. Just using a bit of my scrap. I just cut a rectangle like so, trim the end off, then I use this little tiny rod that I've got, I wet it and it doesn't stick and then I just pick the end up roll it around the rod like so then I press and then get in as close as I can and cut that off and then where the seam is I just press it down it makes it a bit flat ready for uh, the back and then you can just slide that oh it's stuck slide that off your rod now I've made a bit of a mess of mine but it'll be fine I'll make another one a bit neater but you get the gist guys just make sure this is dusted or uh, wet and then you just uh, glue that on with some liquid clay or sonic glue or whatever you've got um, but I will make another neater one 
uh, so I'll do that as well while it's baking um, and I'll see you when they're baked see you in a min hi guys all done I've just given them a quick polish with um, the Dremel uh, the surface was really lovely to begin with because I'd burnished don't forget that little trick with a bit of paper burnish away I love these little holes don't they just add a bit of something with that dark blue showing through uh, unfortunately I haven't got anything uh, that will match to string this up on I'll have a dig I may have some gold cord tucked away somewhere but there's the diamond one course there's the little um, tube I made now I haven't put anything on the back of this one yet um, I may put a brooch back on and turn it into a brooch uh, somebody mentioned the other day in uh, questions I've had so many comments guys while I've not been well and I've not got around to answering them all yet so please bear with me apologies if I haven't answered a question um, but I am working my way through them. There was just so many uh, that I've uh, just hearted most of them and then I'll go back through and read them. Yeah, a lady was um, saying about fastening brooch backs. All I normally do is add a little line of clay to this and pop it on the back with, uh, if it's pr already baked of course, uh, pop it on the back with a little bit of um, liquid clay and then I push the back on so that the clay oozes through these holes and then I take a tool and just press it down and trim any excess off around so it's nice and tidy uh, but that's just how easy it is to put a, a back on um, onto a little thing. In fact, I'll just get a bit of this scrap and show you, shall I? Yeah, so I'll just make a little sausage of clay that's as big as the brooch back. Of course, there's different types of brooch backs out there, guys. I just pop that on there and then I push, obviously a bit neater, but I push that brooch back down and then with my craft knife, I just go around and trim the excess off like so husband's banging uh, yeah I just go around again guys Benita I'm just doing this to show you I just go around with my craft knife to cut the excess off um, like so and then I get something, even if it's just a little cocktail stick, and I flatten that bit of clay down, and that pins the brooch back on. Do it a bit neater again, and then bit just bake it off, and that's plenty to hold your brooch back on, uh, if you so wish. But there we go, guys. Just two little pendants I've made with the scraps and some extras making a makume gane. Hope you enjoyed that. Nice getting back into the swing of things and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.